The government of St. Lucia is committed to ensuring fisher folk understand the recent decision to temporarily suspend fishing licenses as part of the efforts to protect the entire island from the spread of COVID-19. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney at Monday's press briefing said the decision was not an easy one. The Prime Minister cited overwhelming evidence suggests that persons continue to enter St. Lucia illegally and a recent lockdown in Martinique could mean that more persons will be eager to come home. Uh, the decision or the need to make an immediate decision came out of two factors. Um, well, actually three factors. One was that Martinique announced a, a, a close down of its own borders. And we felt that that would increase the number of persons who wanted to come to St. Lucia. Um, secondly, in the investigations that we have been undertaking, um, reports continuously come back to us that persons are bringing people in illegally up to um, last week. And I find that shocking. Ahead of the media briefing, Prime Minister Chastney held a meeting with some Fisher Folk representatives and talks are expected to continue into Tuesday, 3rd November 2020, with more representatives from the Fisher Society and Fisheries Department. The need to have uh, suspended licenses was important to allow the Marine Police to get back on top of the situation and to have dialogue, which already started today and over the weekend, with the Fisher folk on how we're going to collectively resolve this issue. Um, they have some concerns with regards to economics, which we will address, but we also have concerns as a state from a security perspective. The state, it's no secret, by itself cannot manage the borders by ourselves. Um, and the fisher folk need to act as part of our security force. And we're hoping that we can convince them that as St. Lucians, that their priority and um, uh, would be for St. Lucia and for St. Lucians and for their own families. And so we are going to have a meeting tomorrow morning at 8.30. Um, I know that the ministry is meeting with them today as well. I know that they had some meetings themselves over the weekend. And hopefully by tomorrow we would have this issue resolved and that we would be collaborating both as a state as well as the fisher folk to resolve the issue. The government of St. Lucia is committed to addressing the health crisis while protecting livelihoods. The Prime Minister met last week with the Chamber of Commerce and the National Emergency Management Advisory Committee, NEMAC, in consultative meetings on the latest protocols. There are also follow-up meetings this week with hoteliers and restaurants and bar owners on recent protocols. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Danielle Dubois.